so, uh, hi guys. Right, so Will, actually, uh, I was gonna email everyone about stories about Will, but I had so fucking many stories. <laughs> like, I, didn't even need to, I didn't even need to ask anyone. Like, I've got so many, so many things. And just to keep this short, I've just picked a couple. Um, but when Will first came here two and a half years ago, he, he came as a grad. He had a bit of experience working in uh, China or something like that. China, so, um, so he, he came from a different culture. When he first joined, um, when he first joined the PhD, uh, I can't say it was a smooth process. In fact, um, he was probably he caused a lot, of, caused a lot of grief for me because um, the one thing that I couldn't get him to understand is what professional means. Um, and it all started, first of all, that he, he would sit down, he would have condoms on his desk. Um, I, I hadn't experienced this before, but someone that comes to work and leaves condoms freely on their desk, as if it's a normal thing to do. I, I, it, it took some time, it took a lot of management and a lot of hours to help him understand why you shouldn't leave condoms or sex toys or things like that on the desk. Um, when he joined, uh, Dar some of you remember, might remember Darren Bentley, but it was his leaving dude, so his first night out was, uh, <laughs> was, was uh, his leaving dude, his first night out with work. So we take him out, we give him a few drinks, we haven't even had, a, we haven't even had one yet, we're in Jerusalem. Um, and he decides that at the time, Lucy Holmes, the digital, head of digital operations, he decides that he's going to try and chat her up. <laughs> so uh, he walks up to her and his chat up line is, you're wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> and then he starts getting closer to her and he's a bit drunk, so he's like, uh, yeah. and, and, and obviously you guys could imagine Lucy's face. Uh, she's just staring at him thinking, well, who the fuck has uh, Patty just gone and hide? So that was one of them. In fact, actually, that's where he found his first girlfriend as well. Because uh, once Lucy knocked him back, he then went and found some other girl in the dance floor and was licking her all night um, and his tongue down the throat all night on his first night out with his work teammates. So that was pretty bad. But as I said, etiquette was a, etiquette and professionalism was quite a problem. This was him basically when he first joined. Um, he had a few problems getting clothes, so he was wearing he got this free from next but he was selling his t shirt. Slowly we started to transform him, and like I said, it took a lot of work, he started changing his dress code. And the only way he could really begin was pick someone, a mentor, for how he should dress. He chose Michael Wickham at the time, he also left him. Um, but you can see from here, he started wearing similar clothes to him until he realised. That was the, oh shit, point. And that was the, fuck yeah, I can't do anything about it, point. But to be fair, in his time here, he's always worked really hard. That is the one thing, whether professional or not, one thing he's always done is worked really hard. Um, and, you know, SEO actually went through a big transition point at, uh, about two years ago. And actually, Will was actually one of the pillars of the SEO team. And I think that, that, to me, is actually an achievement that you should definitely take away from Will if you're really well. And I know it's going to be all right if you drop because it's going to shit place. Um, so it can't be too hard to please people, right? Um, but he always tried to please me, that's the thing. Like, he's a Chelsea fan and I even managed to get him into a Liverpool top. A real football fan, who the fuck does that? I, I but he always, you know, he always worked hard to me. And I can't let, let this end until I share this video because, like, everything I've talked about professionalism, I can't be any explained any better than this video. <laughs>